In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in British Columbia. At number one, we have Victoria. The capital city of British Columbia, Victoria, is a picturesque location with a blend of coastal scenery and Victorian architecture. Often referred to as Canada's Garden City, Victoria boasts numerous gardens and parks. The city is also renowned for its delectable restaurants that serve fresh local cuisine. Adventure enthusiasts can indulge in activities like hiking, kayaking, and camping. Notable attractions include the Royal BC Museum, Craig Darrick Castle, and the Maritime Museum of British Columbia. At number two, we have Tofino. Tofino, a quaint coastal town on Vancouver Island, is renowned for its surfing opportunities. However, the town's allure extends beyond the waves. The surrounding landscapes comprise lakes, rainforests, sandy beaches, and rugged inlets. Visitors can indulge in activities like hiking, kayaking, and whale watching. Additionally, the Na Waya Sum Gardens and the Roy Henry Vickers Gallery are worth exploring. At number Number three, we have Sun Peaks. Sun Peaks, Canada's second largest ski area, is a winter wonderland. With 137 runs and 13 lifts, it caters to skiers of all expertise levels. During summer, the region transforms into a hub for mountain biking and golfing. The village, with its European ski resort charm, offers a plethora of accommodations, eateries, and shops. At number four, we have Pacific Rim National Park Reserve. Located on Vancouver Island's west coast, this national park reserve is a testament to Canada's temperate rainforest. The park is a mosaic of sandy beaches, rugged coastlines, mountains, and iconic hiking trails like the West Coast Trail. Visitors can delve into the region's history, engage with the vibrant culture, or embark on an adventure to the Broken Group Islands. At number five, we have Joffrey Lakes. Joffrey Lakes is a trio of stunning glacier-fed lakes with turquoise waters. Nestled within a provincial park, the hiking trail leading to these lakes is among Canada's finest. As hikers progress, they encounter the lower, middle, and upper Joffrey lakes. The trail offers glimpses of snow-capped mountains, gushing streams, and diverse wildlife. The park also promotes activities like camping, climbing, and fishing. At number six, we have Garibaldi Provincial Park. Located near Squamish, this park is dominated by Mount Garibaldi. The park is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts, offering activities like fishing, kayaking, climbing, and hiking. One of the highlights is the trek to Garibaldi Lake, where turquoise waters are flanked by alpine mountains and a magnificent glacier. At number seven, we have Capilano Suspension Bridge. This iconic attraction in Vancouver is the world's longest suspension bridge of its kind. Stretching 430 feet across, suspended 230 feet above a river, the bridge offers exhilarating views of the encompassing rainforest. The treetops adventure and cliff walk are other thrilling experiences available at this site. At number eight, we have Wells Gray Provincial Park. Situated in Clearwater, this park is renowned for its 41 waterfalls, including the majestic Helmican Falls. The park's vast wilderness encompasses lakes, mountains, mountain peaks, meadows, and canyons. Activities like hiking, kayaking, horseback riding, and river rafting are popular among visitors. At number nine, we have Squamish. A blend of history, culture, and adventure, Squamish offers a plethora of activities. With proximity to mountains, oceans, and rivers, opportunities for hiking, biking, climbing, and river rafting are abundant. Attractions include Shannon Falls, Stawamas Chief, and the Britannia Mine Museum. At number 10, we have Haida Gwaii. This cluster of remote islands is a realm of wildlife, history, culture, and enchanting landscapes. Visitors can witness ancient totem poles, beaches, rainforests, and archaeological sites. The islands are perfect for hiking, kayaking, and immersing in nature. At number 11, we have Nelson. Nelson, with its friendly ambiance, is a blend of history, culture, and nature. The town boasts over 300 heritage buildings and a thriving arts scene. Activities include mountain biking, hiking, and exploring attractions like Cottonwood Falls Park and the Nelson Museum. At number 12, 12, we have Invermere. Invermere, located near Windermere Lake, is a hub for activities throughout the year. From kayaking and golfing in the summer to skiing in the winter, Invermere has it all. Attractions include James Chabot Provincial Park and the Windermere Valley Museum. At number 13, we have Caribou Chilcotin Coast. This region offers a backdrop of forests, mountain peaks, plains, and fjords. Popular activities include fishing, horseback riding, and exploring the Gold Rush Trails. Places of interest include Tweedsmuir Provincial Park and the town of Quesnel. At number 14, we have Alaska Highway. This iconic highway stretches through northern British Columbia, the Yukon, and Alaska. Along the route, travelers encounter untouched landscapes, remote villages, and provincial parks teeming with wildlife. At number 15, we have Kelowna. 
Nestled on Okanagan Lake's shores, Kelowna is a blend of urban life and wilderness. The city is renowned for its vineyards, and wine enthusiasts can embark on numerous wine tours in the region. At number 16, we have Sunshine Coast. This region is characterized by its jagged coastline, beaches, mountains, and lakes. Activities include hiking, biking, and kayaking. The coast is dotted with provincial parks like Mount Richardson and Tetrahedron. At number 17, we have Malahat Skywalk. This attraction offers a 600-meter walkway overlooking treetops, mountains, fjords, and the Cowichan Valley. The Adventure Net provides a sensation of being suspended over the forest. At number 18, we have Barkerville. This restored town, now a National Historic Site, offers a glimpse into the Wild West during the Gold Rush days. It's the largest living history museum in Western North America. Attractions include period displays, exhibits, and the Shamrock Tube Run. At number 19, we have Tribune Bay. Often referred to as Little Hawaii, Tribune Bay on Hornby Island boasts sandy beaches and unique rock formations. The clear ocean waters are among the warmest in the province. At number 20, we have Great Bear Rainforest. This rainforest, where the ocean meets the land, is home to fjords, pristine rainforests, and diverse wildlife. It's part of the largest coastal temperate rainforest on Earth. Activities include guided tours, whale watching, and hiking. At number 21, we have Osoyuz Desert. Located in the southernmost part of British Columbia, this desert is a unique ecosystem. Ecosystem. It's home to the Osoyuz Desert Center, where visitors can learn about the region's flora and fauna. At number 22, we have Mount Revelstoke National Park. This park is renowned for its alpine meadows, dense forests, and waterfalls. The park offers activities like hiking, skiing, and snowboarding. The Giant Cedars Boardwalk Trail is a highlight. At number 23, we have Kootenay National Park. This park is a realm of glaciers, hot springs, and diverse wildlife. The park's highlights include the Paint Pots, Marble Canyon, and the Radium Hot Springs. At number 24, we have Whistler. Whistler, a renowned ski resort town, offers activities throughout the year. From skiing and snowboarding in the winter to mountain biking and hiking in the summer, Whistler is a hub for adventure. At number 25, we have Vancouver. Vancouver, a bustling metropolis, is a blend of urban life and nature. The city boasts numerous parks, beaches, and attractions like Stanley Park, Granville Island, and the Vancouver Aquarium. So that sums up my top 25 things to do in British Columbia. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.